Okay, we're going to do a little chain here, uh, a little bit longer than we'd normally do, but it dovetails a few things together. And it can start from either defensive or offensive position. So to start with, we're going to do it from a defensive position. So I'm going to be on my back, and I'm going to hit the electric chair sweep from the half guard. Okay, so, Andrew's in my half guard. Okay. Can I get locked down outside over, inside under, and then it under his foot here? I've got my arm hook. Okay, here, little whip up here, get his weight moving. And I'm going to turn towards and I'm going to underhook this leg. Now you can bring this arm all the way out and pull this towards you, that works. Sometimes count that. Or you can do it from the electric chair underhooks, which Eddie Bravo likes to do nowadays. So this is probably a little bit better. So I hit my, I hit my whip up here. Here, turn towards. Now, if I can, if I can turn towards, brilliant. Put, try and push him this way, he'll counter. And then, over we go, this way. Okay, so we move over this way. Right? It's important we keep that locked down all the time. So, here. Outside over, inside under. Wangle in, underhook, whip up. Push towards so resist a bit and over here. Now I can get this up on my shoulder and need this up on my shoulder, otherwise it really ain't going to work. Okay, I'm all the way into the mount now, which is great if you can make it all this way. If you can't, you're going to be stuck on your side here. Okay, and you can still do it from here, keep your locked down. You can just literally come up away from him here and work his flexibility test there. Okay, that's a great one. It might not work. If not, if it's not working, come up into this big one I call this stoner control, I think. So I can shut that fast. Now looky looky where we are here. We're in hip lock territory, or this is stoner control, I think. But um, we're in a great place here. I've got his leg tied up nasty. So I can just hit hip lock here by taking his head this way. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. I take, so I take his head that way. And because his legs are locked down, I'll take his leg over there. But that's a bit of a strongman move, so that might not work. If that don't work, no problem. Okay? He's going to be holding on to it, it's the only problem here. If I can break free here, I can hit a roll this way. I'm going to hit a roll on this shoulder this way. Over we go. And now we need to vaporize that. A nasty, nasty lock. So let's hit that a little bit over here so we can see. So I can cure your back in the room. Oh, okay. So we've got through to this. Uh, over here. We've got through to this position. We have our, our lockdown still on. Okay, now we're going to hit the roll this way. Hit the roll this way. So you need to free his hands. So I hit the roll this way, here. Yeah. So I'm going to hit the roll all the way, boom, there. Okay, so now I bring this to me, there. Oh, nasty. And you can do it without the roll as well. But that is a bit bigger than me, the roll is a little bit difficult. I can literally just lay down on this hip here. Yeah, you can serve my legs a bit more. I have a bit before my legs. See it? For it here. Ah, it's really nasty. So, uh, so that is pretty gangster. Of course, you can see how we can do this from a dominant position if you're on your back row. We can do this, we mentioned this before in some videos, the traditional mount block that people always do. Brilliant. So, here. Okay, there's a toe hold or shin lock. We've got a brace cradle going on, whether you've got his head or his not. In any case, here, and now he's an idiot. And he's in this territory, so now we can figure four our legs. I'm gonna hit the hip lock here. There, bit of a strong man move, doesn't work, no problem. Now I can go this way, here, keep the lock down on. And then, sorry, Andy. No, sorry. Ah. No, 
laying on his non-attack leg, so it's really in the back way. It's like um, Eddie Bravo mentions this. This is one of the few leg locks where he can't counter me with a leg lock. It's very different, difficult for him to attack my legs in this scenario. Um, if you watch Eddie Bravo play the Gracie fight, he gets Hoyler with this. I mean, the only reason Hoyler didn't tap is because he's an alien. <laughs> Uh, but obviously he, he's done some serious damage to his legs in the process. But he's got incredible pain tolerance and he didn't seem to care if he was going to need knee surgery. But most of us do care. So most people will tap this. <laughs> so, enjoy!